renal cell carcinoma. It originates from the renal jubilar epithelium and, and it's most commonly seen in case of males rather than females. So the male to female ratio is 3 to 1. The risk factors include cadmium exposure, hypertension, smoking, obesity and also predisposing conditions like acquired polycystic kidney disease, von hippel lindau syndrome. It is important to remember von hippel lindau syndrome. Uh, now coming to the types. These are the three major types and also along with it we also have the sarcomoid types and other types but these are the three major types. The first one is clear cell carcinoma. The second is papillary cell carcinoma and the third is chromophobe cell carcinoma, clear cell carcinoma. Here the mutations uh, occur in the VHL gene. The VHL is von hippel lindau gene present on the chromosome 3. In the pathogenesis you are going to write four steps, right? So the first one is the loss of function mutation in the VHL gene which increases the uh, hypoxia induced factor which causes transcription of growth factors and the fourth point is it leads to the uncontrolled cell proliferation leading to the carcinoma. Now coming to morphology, grossly there will be solitary mass present and on the cut surface you can see hemorrhage necrosis with the cystic areas and also the tumor in vested or renal vein. Microscopically as the name suggests you can see the clear cells. What, what does clear cells mean? That means a, no cytoplasm. There only you can see the nucleus. The cytoplasm is empty. And also few cells are eosinophilic and granular. For example, you can see in this image, there are clear cells with the no cytoplasm and also few cells are granular and eosinophilic. And these are arranged in the form of tubules or cords. Glandular, see, you can see this glandular pattern, right? These are arranged in the form of tubes or cords. Stroma is scanty, but it is vascular. In the papillary cell carcinoma, the mutation occurs in MET proto-oncogene present on the chromosome 7. Whereas in the clear cell, we saw mutations in the VHL gene present on chromosome number 3. Here, the mutations include MET proto-oncogene. The pathogenesis, because of the activating mutations in the MET gene, there will be increased activity of tyrosine kinase, which causes uncontrolled cell proliferation. Grossly, you can see multiple masses on, and on the cut surface, again, you can see the hemorrhage and necrosis, etc. Microscopically, as the name suggests, again, you can see the papillary foldings, like finger-like projections, which are lined by the neoplastic cells. So, the finger-like projections, which are lined by the proliferating neoplastic epithelial cells, we call this arrangement as papillary arrangement. It is seen in case of papillary cell carcinoma. And in the chromophobe cell carcinoma, there is no specific mutations or anything, but there is loss of multiple chromosomes. Multiple losses of the entire chromosomes causes extreme hypoploidy. This is the cause for chromophobe cell carcinoma. Grossly, you can see the tan brown mass and microscopically, there are three distinctive features for the chromophobe cell carcinoma. One is a pale cytoplasm, perinuclear clearing and the prominent cell membrane. That is, the cell membrane have distinct margins. This is a summary of the all three types. The clear cell carcinoma, it includes the mutations in VHL gene on the chromosome 3 and the papillary has mutations of MET gene on the chromosome 7 and the chromophobe cell carcinoma has multiple losses of the chromosomes causing the extreme hyperploidy. Coming to the gross, in the clear you have only one mass and in the multiple you have multiple masses in the papillary cell carcinoma and on the chromophobe it is a tan brown mass. Coming to microscopy, in the clear cells you can see clear cells, absence of cytoplasm and these are arranged in the form of tubules and also some cells are granular and eosinophilic. So I'll write all this. Coming to the papillary cell carcinoma, you can see papillary projections lined by the proliferating neoplastic cells. Coming to the chromophobe, we talked about it, right? We can see three distinct features like uh, one is a pale cytoplasm, perinuclear clearing and the prominent cell membrane. Clinical features, it includes palpable mass in the abdomen, right? And also flank pain because of the stretching of the capsule of kidney, which can cause the pain and hematuria, that means blood in urine. Extra renal manifestations. These are the paraneoplastic syndromes of renal cell carcinoma. Kidney is responsible for the production of erythropoietin. And in case of carcinoma of kidney, there will be much more production of erythropoietin leading to the polycythemia. And Cushing syndrome because of the extreme production of ACTH and hypercalcemia also seen. So this is about renal cell carcinoma.